for the gap between the two doses of the Covishield vaccine has been extended from the current 6 to 8 weeks to now 12 to 16 weeks. This is based on the recommendation of the COVID working group here in India. It was initially 28 days or one month. It was then revised to 6 to 8 weeks and now it is 12 to 16 weeks. This has prompted many people to ask many questions. One among them, is this driven by science or the fact that there is a widely reported shortage of vaccines here in India? That's the first question. The second question, of course, is about what about COVID recovered patients? So far, what we knew about patients who recovered from COVID is that they can go out and get the vaccine six to eight weeks after recovery. The new guidelines in India now say that you can go and get the jab six months after recovery. Does that increase your chance of getting COVID or does that actually give you better protection? We'll have a panel of experts answer these questions for us. We have Dr. Uh, V. Ravi, the head uh, of Department of Virology from Nimhans, also member of the International Advisory Board on the Sputnik vaccine. So we'll ask him about that. He's also an advisor to the COVID-19 task force in Karnataka. We have uh, with us from London, uh, Dr. Raja Narayan, the director of the Global Health Alliance in the UK. Uh, remember, the UK already has a 12-week dosing regimen. So we'll ask Dr. Raja about what that means. Uh, we also have um, DS Rana, the chairman board of management uh, Ganga Ram Hospital. Thank you all very much uh, for being with us on the broadcast. I want to begin by asking you, uh, Dr. Rajay, what's the experience been in the UK? In the UK, it is 12 weeks. It's been uh, 12 weeks, the dosing regimen. In India, it was 6 to 8 weeks. And now it has been increased to 12 to 16 weeks. What's the logic behind this? Yeah. You know, uh, in the UK, since the very beginning, our gap has been 12 weeks. And in fact, there was a lot of discussion a lot of criticism initially whether this is evidence based or not and now that some of the small studies in the uk have proved now that we have vaccinated almost 35 million people in uk with the first dose of the vaccine that only goes to prove that you know most of the evidence have shown that if you have your first dose you get up to 60 70 percent immunity from the virus and that obviously is something it's a race against time and we need to try and vaccinate as many people as possible as soon as possible because especially in a country like India where it has become such a big problem and I think this is the right strategy if we can get more of the first dose of the vaccine to more number of people then possibly we'll have a better immunity. No but you know the question here is whether it is driven uh, this decision whether it's driven by a demand and supply question or whether it's uh, driven by science and that really is where the doubt uh, sort of comes in. Uh, Dr. Ravi, would you like to weigh in here? Uh, thank you, Rishika, for having me on the show. Let me tell you that the decision made by Government of India Advisory Group is very, very welcome at this point of time. It makes a lot of public health sense to get more people covered with first dose. For those who are questioning whether the, this is based on science or sense, I think it is based on both, more on science than on sense. Let me tell you that the immune system has two major properties. One is memory and the other is specificity. This is the hallmark of the immune system. Memory, it retains for a long time. It can retain up to six months. So once you give a vaccine to a naive person, hmm. you can boost the memory cells for up to six months. So the logic is you can wait. Then why do we give it at four weeks, six weeks in an argument people ask? Let me tell you, the longer the duration between four weeks and 12 weeks for any vaccine, immune response will be much better. Then, the reason we keep it minimal is so that they don't get infected during that time. Second major public health reason is People drop out when there are, then the gap is more. This is the experience with other vaccinations. But currently, the awareness and the demand for vaccine is so much, I'm sure people will come back for their second dose. I'll stop here. All right. Dr. Rana, would you like to come in here? You, you, uh, Dr. Ravi has raised several important points. Um, my question then is, why does dosing regimen differ for the two vaccines in India? Because as far as Covaxin is concerned, we know that it stays at a month. As far as Covishield is concerned, this is the third revision that's coming in. 
Yeah, Covaxin is a different technology vaccine that is a, you know, dead virus and uh, the response, second booster dose had to be given quickly, you know. As far as COVID shield is concerned, that is a different technology. I think Dr. Ravi is the right person to answer this question. He already answered the question very nicely. And uh, I think this much immunology people will not understand, but it's fine to say that whatsoever this government is taking right now, this is scientific and also sensible from other point of view also, since we are facing, as Dr. Rajiv told you, that uh, uh, right now it's very important to give first dose first, you know. But, but in, in case of COVID shield, we can delay up to three months and uh, there is no problem, there is scientific and probably the response will be far more better. Now you can ask the Biden to do it first, you know. At that time, probably we were thinking, and there were not enough studies available with us, and then later on studies were available from UK, yes. that if you give it after three months, and there is scientific basis for that, and uh, uh, the, the response is going to be better, you know. Well, so we... people should not think, this is not uh, something like that, uh, people may, may, should not go under uh, wrong impression that probably we are having no, a shortage of does, You know, uh, Dr. Rana, I agree with you, uh, but at the same time, you have to understand this from from a lay person's point of view, somebody who doesn't have, you know, the scientific data or the evidence or the understanding like, like most of you doctors do, uh, you know, it is confusing and it is also worrying and it raises more questions than it gives answers at the moment. Uh, 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 and we have, we have a doctor from London on the broadcast to sort of, you know, give us that mm -hmm. comparison and tell us what's happened in, in the UK all this while and we know it's worked. UK has lifted its strictest lockdowns. We know it's worked. But uh, Dr. Yatin Mehta, you know, answer this from a viewer's point of view. You know, it does raise more questions mm. and answers. You know, first the dosing regimen is 28 days. It's then increased to 6 to 8 weeks. Now we know that it is 12 to 16 weeks. Let's come down to the brass tacks. Dr. Mehta, what about people who have appointments now based on the uh, 6 to 8 week regimen? See, it has been found in a several studies that if you delay it by 8 to 12 weeks, the, the immune response of the body is even better. The government initially said four, 4 to 6 weeks and then delayed it to 6 to 8 as the evidence started coming. So there is no question. If you wait for 2 to 3 months, the immune response, the response of the body to the vaccine is with COVID shield is going to be uh, better. So it's a good idea anyways to wait for 3 to 4 months. Now, this they have modified it. Maybe there is a practical issue also that this will give us give you more dosages for the public and uh, with, with full safety margin of people uh, waiting for the second shot. So you can cover more population. So there may be a practical aspect for, for it. But these are all driven by ICMR and DCGI. So these are all science driven, this thing, not politically, politically driven. So I think it's all right to wait for eight to 12 or 12 weeks to 14 weeks. The question weeks. then, uh, yes. Dr. Ravi, if you'd like to come back here, uh, you know, is yes. whether those who have got the vaccine at the previous intervals, are those people now at a disadvantage? For instance, are frontline workers, healthcare workers, all received a uh, COVID shield in the beginning based on the previous do dosing regimen? Okay, I want to make two points, Richika, which one I forgot in the first time. The original trial results published in Lancet on phase three of AstraZeneca had divided participants into three groups. Those who received second dose at four weeks, six to eight weeks, and 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And what did they find? They found that the antibody response was best in those at 12 weeks. But remember one thing I want to tell you and all the viewers, irrespective of Whichever vaccine we are talking about and the dosing schedules, vaccines protection, according to manufacturers and according to scientists we understand is no severe disease and no death. So you will get protection as far as disease and death, is, severe disease and death is concerned. All this talk about efficacy is only being RT-PCR positive and mild symptomatic okay. after vaccination. But, but then the question is, why now? What explains the timing of the government's decision? Then should the government okay. have taken this decision earlier? Yeah, 
earlier the government had a strategy of stratified phases different age groups when the second just let me complete just let me complete when the second wave came with such a big surge there was enormous demand and there was reason to quickly ramp up immunization we opened it up for all age groups above 18 we do not have that kind of doses and that is you cannot put the this is not a blame game entire world's manufacturing of all doses if you give it to india alone even then you cannot immunize people in a short time no but so my question is very, my my question is very simple and uh, you know dr rana if you want to come in here are people who receive the vaccine at the previous no. dosing interval are they at a disadvantage do they have lesser protection yeah this the answer is first let okay uh, first let me we want to say something yeah i just want to say there is no data to say they are at a disadvantage Now, if you look at death and severity in people who are vaccinated in the old regimen it is not there at all so i don't think anybody But is at a disadvantage we, we have dr ravi reported on stories of frontline workers unfortunate stories of doctors who've contracted covid despite two doses and actually died because of it we we've reported on these stories so it does raise questions and it does raise doubts at the moment this constant change in policy does it not dr rana there is there is always a proportion of people who will get severe disease and die even if you use the best okay. regimens in the world no vaccine is 100% proof okay. but to project it and say those who are already uh, received no, uh, i'm asking questions you're the experts here Iskala i'm the lay person who's trying to ask questions to make Iskala, this let, to let make me reply clearer for let our viewers me, dr rana let me reply yeah this guy you're so right actually for any lay person including me you know i'm a, i'm a medicine person i'm a nephrologist and uh, ravi is of course a uh, microbiologist so they can see it to better you know there is no doubt about this that people will doubt that why this is being done you know and uh, and ravi answered one question that the phase three study where it was found that after 3 months also equally effective that is true that antibody response was better and you are right that maybe that when we got it after 28 days or 14 uh, let's say 6 weeks probably the antibody response might have been not so good actually that study that would require some study and it will be available after few months you know but however i would like to say again that the people is doubt about this thing yes. whole strategy they are they are right actually you are right that anybody will doubt actually yes it and will it will fact, raise more uh, questions uh, than it actually yeah. gives answers at the yeah, moment yeah but let, 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 let me tell you this this whole true only for covid shield the response of let us say the back covid vaccine you cannot delay second dose beyond a four weeks you know yes. similarly let us say moderna moderna let us say pfizer they are those those the technology are totally different there also we may give put but i i know about that also and okay. since i knew about this you are going to ask this question i still will study it also <coughs> moderna had to given it within four weeks because it is that those technology are totally different So right. WhatsApp delay you can do it is only for COVID. So okay. look, let us make I think clear that's to important. Look, people. Right. Yeah, I think that's important you, to understand that the, that the technology of the vaccine determines the dosing interval and whether the dosing interval is flexible at all or not. But Dr. Raja, if I can come back to you at the moment, there has been data from the Lancet that's been available which suggests that a longer dosing interval increases the efficacy of the vaccine. It is almost eighty-one percent. after two doses at an interval of 12 weeks so longer compared with about 50% or 60% if it's given 6 to 8 weeks apart this is the basis on the which on which the uk had changed what's the impact of the 12 week dosing regimen that you've seen in the uk i think as i said earlier that you know since we have been doing 12 weeks from the very beginning and we have experienced that uh, hardly any cases have come back where there has been a reinfection of people because i know of at least dozens and dozens of my friends relatives doctor colleagues in india who have had their second dose of astrazeneca in february march hmm. and are getting covid infection now so is there anything else that we need to learn is there anything else that we need to do about the new strain do we need more booster doses for the new strain hmm. there are lots of unanswered questions as far as uk is concerned yes i can tell you now that 
it has been excellent. The vaccination has gone so well. We have, as I said, we have vaccinated more than 35 million people now. And I have hardly come across any uh, documented case where somebody has got infected or reinfected mm. after the second dose of the COVID uh, vaccine, uh, AstraZeneca vaccine in the UK. So I think there are lots of unanswered questions. We are still learning about the disease. It's very early. And maybe okay. there's a need for a new strain, a new booster dose that all of us will need, well, possibly in the UK, Europe and all over the world. Yes, well, that's the other big question, uh, Dr. Mehta, at the moment, you know, whether this vaccine is actually going to grant uh, the protection that, it, that we need against the new variant, because the World Health Organization has said it is still uncertain whether vaccines and any vaccine at all can, uh, you know, can give the same level of efficacy against the B1617, for instance. So there are several questions on vaccine efficacy that still need answers. But I'll come back to the point on dosing regimen and two quick questions here. What should people who have an appointment scheduled in the next one or two weeks based on the six to eight week dosing regimen do now? See, I think they can safely defer it by another two to four weeks. I mean, uh, efficacy is supposed to increase uh, with increased time. And uh, there is no harm if they take it after another two to four weeks, I would say. Okay. Don't delay it beyond 12 weeks because oh. just in case there is another hiccup or whatever. So that's what I would recommend. Take it between 8 to 12 weeks. And what about people who have recovered from COVID? Uh, Dr. Ravi, the, the new rules now say that you have to wait for six months. Yeah. It is based again on evidence. And what is the evidence? People who have recovered from natural infection, there are several studies published that say that antibodies last in these people for anywhere between three to six months. By six months, decay of antibodies sets in. And so, therefore, I think the government advisory, I'm not a member of that group, I'm presuming the advisory is based on the fact that if you have got infection and recovered, you will have immunological memory. Hmm. You can kick in a uh, booster response for up to six months. So that is the basis of what uh, the new advisory is. All right. Uh, very, very quick last comments uh, from Dr. Rana. Dr. Rana, the World Health Organization says four to six weeks after recovery, you can take the vaccine. India now says six months. Yeah, you know, uh, to, I think six months is slightly a little longer. Uh, from my own experience, I can say. But uh, certainly between six weeks to three months, you there is the right time. What is, what is, what is, why it is being done right now, that... It is evidence-based, but at the same time, this is just to overcome national crisis of shortage of vaccine. As doctor told, that at least maximum people should get first uh, first shot of vaccine, that's COVID shield, and second dose can be delayed. That will sort of a shortage on this vaccine shortage problem also. Okay. And that is why people don't have uh, don't have got infection. If they can, normally they should get after six weeks. After six before six weeks, they should not get it. Okay. There's no so you're point saying of that. that you're saying that normally people who've recovered from COVID should get the vaccine after six weeks, but this is obviously a decision that's also been prompted by the shortage. Uh, Dr. Rajan Narayan, yeah. last word to you. What is it like in the UK for people who've recovered from COVID? How soon are they being able to get the vaccine? So when people have had their uh, COVID and they're recovered, we are giving the vaccine within four to six weeks, and that is the guidelines from the WHO which we are following here. Yeah. All right. So the World I Health Organization the guidelines and including what's happening in the UK still suggest that you should get the vaccine four to six weeks after. But there is evidence to suggest that your antibodies could last longer. The policy in India now, the change uh, says that you can get your COVID vaccine six months after you've recovered from COVID. So a lot of changes there taking place. We'll continue to answer several of these questions. At the moment, what we know is that your COVID shield second dose can be taken 12 to 16 weeks after the first dose. And if you've recovered from COVID, you can get COVID Shield or any other vaccine six months after recovery. Those are the two big changes that have taken place. Thank you all doctors very much.